In this video, we are going to talk about the multi-catch statement in Java exception handling. Uh, there has always been uh, criticism of checked exceptions in Java exception handling for being verbose and cluttering the code with try-catch blocks. In Java 7, two features like try with resources uh, that is also called automatic resource management and multi-catch statement have been added to mitigate that problem to a certain extent. In this video, we'll talk about the multi-catch statement in Java exception handling, right? So when we talk about the handling more than one type of exception without multi-catch statement before Java 7, multi-catch statement if two or more exceptions were handled uh, in the way we still had to write separate catch blocks for uh, handling them right so let's try to understand through an example so here i have a code uh, and first of all let me show you i have a one small class it's called hello which is having a grid method that's printing a hello message and uh, here uh, client test one dot java program basically i have created an instance of hello using a reflection so we have a class in java java dot lang package class and we have a static method is called for name there we have passed the qualified name of this class hello class and in that way we are loading this hello class dynamically into the memory and uh, we got the class reference and we are calling new instance on it and we get the object right it's a generic kind of object so here we are checking instance uh, obj instance of hello then we are trying to type class into hello and finally we are calling greet method right if obj is not an instance of uh, hello then just we are printing we are throwing an exception saying that uh, class class exception and provided class type is not correct pretty straightforward example right so if you look into this api for name right for name api this throws some exception and this uh, like class class uh, class not found exception and this is a kind of see this is throwing class not found exception and uh, if you look in the class not found exception this is derived from the reflective operation exception and finally ultimately we see reflective operation exception this basically derived by extending or exception class that means class not found exception is a checked exception right checked exception so here you can see this is derived from the exception class that means uh, here basically your class not found is a checked exception that's the reason compiler will force you to handle within the try catch or a or else you will have to declare this exception within the way using the throws clause similarly uh, we have a new instance and this also throws uh, two type of exception i think instantiation exception or illegal access exception and these two also is a checked exception that's the reason this is uh, uh, this will compiler will force you to uh, handle this exception as well so here you can see the cache for single cache my api is throwing first api is throwing class not found exception and second api is throwing instantiation exception as well as illegal access exception so you have a lot of cache right so here we have a boilerplate code right uh, it can be noted that uh, the the cache blocks are having the same exception handling code it is difficult to create a common catch block to element, eliminate a duplicate code because variable here e you can see with this variable e uh, has uh, different types of both of uh, i mean all the catch block right so now java 7 came up with the, some new feature so what i'll do I, i'm going to command this code and at a later point of time definitely i'm going to remove it and what i'll do uh, i'll copy this code snippet i will paste it over here and we'll see how same we can uh, uh, improve the code basically readability as well as how we can remove the code duplication using java 7 multi cache exception handling so here uh, we can wrap inside the try cache and what we can do uh, we can put this code again in this catch block let's say i'm going to put like this so doing kind of refactoring basically so tools is very handy in this case tools will tools will 
help you a lot so here basically if you choose the second option right so this is going to add a multi catch block for try but here you have an option is called add exception to existing catch clause so this was the feature which is added in java 7 so here you can see multiple catch you can declare uh, within the single catch and that's the feature basically have been added in java 7 so basically this is called handling more than one type of exception with java 7 multi catch statement with java 7 lat and later it is possible to catch multiple exception in one catch block which eliminates the code duplication each exception type within the multi catch statement is separated by uh, basically pipe symbols here you can see so here you should note that if uh, if a catch block handles more than one exception type then the catch parameter is implicitly final so this catch parameter is the implicitly final in this in this example basically the catch parameter e is final therefore you cannot assign any value to it within the catch block if you try to assign some new value within the class that will, uh, within the catch this will not allow you at all right and this is the feature which has been added in java basically 7 so according to the java doc byte code generated by the by compiling a catch block that handles multiple exception types will be smaller uh, then compiling may, may uh, the compiling basically many catch blocks uh, that handles only one exception type each uh, uh, i'm talking about this case right a catch block that handles multiple catch types creates no uh, no duplication in the byte code generated by the uh, compiler right in this case there is no duplication of uh, basically byte code is generated and that's what the byte code has no uh, replication of the exception handlers right so when we talk about the multi catch uh, statement and exception hierarchy so here uh, when you handle multiple catch within the multiple exception within the same catch then uh, some of the key points you will have to keep in mind if you have a like here if you have a file not found exception and here you are going to specify io exception then this will immediately flag a compilation error because a file not find exception is a subclass uh, 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 file not found file not found here file not found is a subtype of io exception and that's the reason this will flag a compilation error right now similarly if you specify exception then uh, let's say arithmetic exception then illegal array index out of bound exception then this will also uh, basically uh, throw some uh, this will give you the compilation error let's say if i do like this then this will flag a compilation error because these two exception is a subclass of exception this is already uh, cached by this and that's the reason this is uh, showing a compilation error so if you have a many exception then if within the catch block if you have already super class exception then super class exception already uh, already catch the all the subclass exception that's the region that is throwing a compilation error so these things you will have to keep in mind uh, last but not the least i would like to cover some key points about multi catch statement in java exception handling right so there are some of the important key points i have listed here like with multi catch statement in java it is possible to catch multiple exceptions in one catch block which eliminates the code duplication as we have seen now second point each exception type within the multi catch statement is separated by pipe symbol that we have already seen now last that is very important byte code generated by compiling a catch block that handles multiple exception types will be smaller and that is also considered as a superior superior that uh, compiling many catch blocks that handles only one uh, exception type each right so basically i'm telling so using uh, writing a multiple catch block for try a single try is basically not a good thing so basically if you are uh, working with the java 7 and our version then we should always prefer the uh, 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 multi uh, we should always uh, handle the multiple exception within the single catch and that uh, byte code will be 
optimized uh, that is generated by the compiler that's the thing i wanted to point out over here now last point is specifying two or more exceptions of the same hierarchy in multi catch statement will result in compile time error that already we have seen right so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys i hope you enjoyed learning this video this code whatever we have seen on the uh, basically eclipse so this is i'm gonna clean it so this code i'm going to check in on the github and github location i will specify in the video description if you really like this video then please hit on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel